Getting back into the classroom. Yeah, but one educator focused her attention on parents' behavior, noting remote learning sessions and her colorful comments were, well, immediately echoed by colleagues from all over. CBS 12's Lexi Nall spoke to several local teachers about the eye-opening things they've seen through the window of online learning. It started at this week's school board meeting when a Boca Raton teacher had some choice words for parents who misbehave in the background of virtual class. Parents, please make sure that you have the own proper clothing when you're walking in front or behind the child's computer. Because we've seen them in their drawers, the bra, and everything else. Elementary right, school teacher Edith Pride has plenty of issues to take up with the school district, but chose to dedicate her time Wednesday night to deliver a fiery message to parents. Parents, when you're helping your children at the computer, please uh, do not appear with big joints in your hands and cigarettes. Does joint be big as a cigar? Oh, yes. We just seen it all. And though her comments got laughs from the crowd. Thank you, Edith. You're always a breath of fresh air. Her message struck a chord with other teachers who've been navigating the unpredictable world of virtual classes for months. I did have a parent that um, sat on the couch and we could see an ankle monitor on her leg. Teachers we spoke to say most parents are respectful of online class time, but they all had at least one story about hair-raising moments, exposing online classes to everything from profanity to drug use. I had a father, um, no shirt, um, let me tell you, he looked nine months pregnant, no shirt, drinking a beer at about 11.45 in the morning. Parents are smoking, parents are smoking marijuana. I mean, I don't really care if people do that, but you shouldn't be in the screen doing that. Others worry about the impact on students exposed to behavior and even body parts they might not see at home. They do see, you know, other things that they've probably never seen before. So um, I know that is... Um, a challenge. And something else for photobombing parents to consider, district officials tell CBS 12 News that all classes are recorded so students can go back and review the lessons again as needed. Reporting in Boca Raton, I'm Lexi Nall, CBS 12 News. Senator Moran and Senator Bozeman.